Hi, this is Trey Pass. Welcome to my view of Just Mercy. This is a movie that stars uh, uh, Jamie Foxx, Michael B. Jordan, Tim Blake Nelson, Brie Larson is in this as well. And this is the story of uh, civil rights attorney uh, Brian Stevenson that is trying to get wrongly uh, convicted uh, Walter McMillan, that's played by Jamie Foxx, and Michael B. Jordan plays Brian Stevenson, uh, off a of death row and free uh, from the, you know, being falsely accused. Now, of course, this movie is, you know, this is about a, a guy that's been wrongly, uh, you know, convicted and on death row, and, and Brian Stevenson is this young lawyer who comes down to uh, Alabama hoping to work with death row inmates and stuff, and he starts a partnership with uh, Eve Ansley, played by Brie Lawson, and his goal is to, you know, help these people that are on death row get the proper legal representation, excuse me, so they right, okay, and you can pretty much predict how this movie's going to go and stuff, pretty much, <laughs> but... I enjoyed it a lot. This movie is just really emotional, okay, and really got to me at points. <laughs> and I mean, it's well acted. I thought uh, Jamie Foxx's Walter McMillan was fantastic in this, and as was Mike uh, Brian Steven. Oh, excuse me, Michael B. Jordan as Brian Stevenson, and this is a real life person who actually works with a uh, death row inmate and stuff. And he worked on actually freeing and re giving representation and in, in helping a lot of death row inmates get clemency. And this story is just, the way it plays out is really, like I said, you can pretty much predict how a movie like this is going to go and stuff. You know, there'll be highs and lows and stuff, but I enjoy the drama of it. It's just really heart-wrenching in spots and really, and you've got to be cold in the heart not to get all emotional when things happen in that. Sure, they manipulate you into feeling for stuff, but it got to me. This movie just got to me as well about and it. Just really, as black man too, is it you know you know all the hurdles that let's face it that black men face in this country at times and stuff and the stuff that you know black men had to go through in the past and they still go through today. This movie really got to me uh, about this guy that's you know fighting for the people that are you know they're the defenseless. They're fighting for the people that don't have the you know didn't have the proper justice. And a lot of them got railroaded into confessing and convict and getting convicted and sent to prison, and a lot of them put on death row unjustly, and this movie is basically about that guy, you know, that lawyer, Michael, played by Michael B. Jordan, Brian Stevenson, and what he did in his work, particularly in this one case with Walter McMillan, who was, again, falsely accused, okay, and on death row, and him fighting for this character, and I enjoyed it a lot. Again, like I said, this movie, <laughs> they manipulate the hell out of me with the emotions, and it got to me. I mean, I, I was tearing up a lot throughout this movie. It just really got to me with the emotions and stuff and like I said you can predict what's going to happen in this movie but seeing it play out and there's but one particular thing that happens in the beginning of this movie well not in the beginning like towards the middle of it okay with one particular inmate that's just again had me on the verge of balling again okay? I have to say I know this machine this movie is meant to do that to manipulate you into that but it, it got to me and this Oh, this movie, it put me through all the emotions and stuff, and it's just really good, and I enjoyed it a lot, okay? Just sure I can predict what's going to happen in this, but you just got and the special mention to a particular actor, uh, uh, Rob Morgan, who plays Herbert Richardson, one of, another another inmate in this story. He will get, trust me, you got to be a coal in the heart not to get to his, his portrayal of that character, Herbert Richardson, and what happens to his character. Just, woof. Just again, put me through the emotional ring of this, and ugh, it got to me. I enjoyed this movie a lot. It, it played on my emotions and it, it got me to where it had to get me. And that's all a movie's supposed to do get you, make you emotional, and get you invested in it. And this movie did do that to me. Uh, woof. Anyway, uh, I enjoyed it a lot. So I'm gonna give uh, <laughs> Just Mercy, I'm gonna give it a 7.8. It really got to me, and really, uh, like I said, it's predictable. Sure, it's predictable and stuff. and and it's meant to manipulate your emotions and stuff, and it does it to me, at least. But it's still enjoyable to watch, and good performances by the characters and the actors in this. So I enjoyed it a lot, and I would definitely recommend it. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you've seen Just Mercy, what do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel called Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Pass. We're saying so long, and take care.